Hello and welcome to a new series I'm doing, playing everyone's favorite Duchess Matilda of Tuscany uh, in the 1066 start here, House Canosa. I'm playing with all of the DLC, no mods, uh, with default settings and Iron Man enabled, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. Matilda ended up inheriting this land uh, from her brother who died in childhood when he was quite young. Uh, her father was duke of this land before her, um, or actually the youngest child. Both of our older siblings died and that's how we got it. Uh, Matilda in real life ended up dying childless and I think most of her land ended up going to the church. Uh, obviously, we're going to try to rewrite history here a little bit and form some type of dynasty. So we are a vassal of the Holy Roman Empire. Um, might end up trying to become a Holy Roman Emperor eventually, once we become one of our kids or grandkids. It's probably a little bit difficult to get elected Emperor. I don't even know if we can while we're playing as a woman. I'm uh, not sure what my long-term goal here is, other than to become emperor, but short-term I'm probably going to be looking to form either the Kingdom of Romagna uh, or the Kingdom of Italy. Uh, so one of the things that we're going to have to do is find a husband for ourselves. We are unmarried, we are childless. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that before we do anything else. Uh, we can look by alliance power, uh, ally with the Duchy of Bohemia or the Duchy of Bavaria. These guys are all a little bit young for us, though we are an adult already. Uh, these are some decently powerful alliances. Uh, Outville, our neighbor to the south, we could ally with. His son is uh, disinherited here. Or we can have a look and see what kind of inheritable traits we can get. Uh, see if there's like a genius available or something like that. There is. Okay. Giselbert here. Um, he's cynical and we are a zealous character, so we're not getting along too well. But he does have genius and he's not, well, I guess he's 10 years older than us, but this guy's getting on in years a little bit. Uh, his stats are really good. I think I'll just go for it. Um, so our character has this kind of unique modifier here, Imperial Vicar, uh, which makes us cheaper and faster temple buildings and holdings, and then gives us plus 25 opinion from our head of faith. So we get along quite well with the Pope. Um, we're going to look to expand here a little bit in, in, the, um, in our immediate surrounding area. Um, the Pope actually holds this title, Kingdom of Romagna, so we might end up usurping that from him. It's going to piss him off a little bit, but we got to do what we got to do. Uh, we start off with quite a few men at arms. Uh, some siege weapons, a little bit, horses. So I'm just going to put all these down here somewhere. Um, in our dynasty, we are the only living member of House Canosa. House Luca, the founding house, which is the name of our dynasty, is extinct. Uh, and then there are two other branches as well, one of whom is this guy, Count Arduino uh, of Parma. He's got a son who has a couple grandchildren. Uh, so that's the four living members of their house. He's actually a really good marshal, so I think I'll swap him there. Uh, and let him do that job for us. And then the other house is Giberti, which is this guy uh, and his three children. He's unlanded, so I think that we're going to give him some land. Uh, given that we're sitting at six out of five, I'll just give him Brescia over here. Uh, and then we'll be able to keep those extra houses alive, and hopefully they'll be able to get us a little bit more renown. Um, we start off with groom to rule. We have no children. I might go family focus here, uh, just for the fertility boost. It's probably worth the hit of one diplomacy. I may actually end up going down this tree here. 
We'll see. Or, or I might do Diplomat. We'll see how I'm feeling. Uh, we are the culture head of Italian culture. And it looks like the current exposure is on hereditary rule, which would allow us to get partition instead of confederate partition. That makes things a little bit easier, so maybe I'll go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to increase my crown authority right off the bat. And what else can we do here? Maybe we'll get some knights, just to see what kind of characters we can get in our court. Uh, we have a guest who's a pretty good chancellor in case we need it. Let's see how good these guys are at the jobs. We have a mayor who is a decent spy master. Uh, so maybe we'll do that. Another mayor here. Uh, this guy 12. He might actually get better since we just landed him. He's going to go into one of his trees. He might actually get a little bit more diplomacy. So I'll wait and see on that. Our bishop is pretty young, but quite good. He's at 14. If we make him our court physician, he will get to 15. So I think I'm going to do that, even though he's not very good at the job. Uh, it'll make him like us a little bit more, too. Uh, I would like to learn High German eventually, uh, before I go and pay homage to my liege. But I think I'll wait on that until I'm done swaying my bishop. Uh, we do start with quite a few claims, but all the claims are internal. These are all our vassals' lands, so we can take them if we want. Uh, I'm going to work on expanding in, in this direction, though. So we have no claims on anything outside of our land. So I think I'll just start here in Casentino. Uh, and then I'll just work on eating these up. We can create another duchy title, but I might just wait on that. I think we have two to start with. Yeah, we are Duchess of Spoleto and Tuscany right now. Uh, so we do have a claim on his county here that he's holding. I do know from experience, though, that Robert Giscard here can sometimes form some pretty far powerful alliances, though, because he has an awful lot of children available. So I'm just going to wait to see what happens there. Um, we can negotiate an alliance with someone who is our aunt. She is up here in Bar. Uh, might as well, I guess. A couple other alliances. I'm not sure why he doesn't want to. Ah, he's paranoid. Okay, so this guy is actually married to our mother. He's our stepfather. Uh, and then we have a another, I think, cousin here? Uncle-in-law. Okay, they're married to each other. Uh, but he's not keen on the alliance either. I think our army is fine-sized for now. Uh, we got no secrets. Yeah, I'll end up recruiting this guy if uh, I don't have a decent enough chancellor, but we'll wait to see how good our recently landed character is before we end up doing that. Uh, and I think I will probably go on a pilgrimage right away. Um, get the Pope to like us a little bit more, get our level of devotion up. Uh, when did they do this? They gave her a little headdress. There we go. Uh, yeah, but anyways, let's get going here. So there is our husband and our alliance. Uh, this guy is only 13 diplomacy. I'm going to take the prestige here since I just went pretty much broke on prestige. Uh, and we'll probably end up recruiting most of these knights that come. Let me get this guy here. He is Jewish, Ashkenazi. He's willing to switch, though. We'll do that so he likes us a little bit more. Uh, and then we'll give him the job. Uh, some of our vassals are a little bit pissed off because we fired a bunch of powerful ones, but, you know, if you didn't want to get fired, then you should have been better at your job. Our husband only has plus 11 opinion of us. There's some cultural acceptance issues here, and also he is cynical. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to put our differences aside and have some children here. Because we really need to populate our house. Uh, I might just end up raising the development level in our capital, since I'm planning on keeping it here. So we're probably going to go to war right away with that. Uh, let's just actually go on a pilgrimage right away, though. I'm just going to go visit 
the Holy Father here. Um, and we'll go through Pisa and here as well. Roll. I guess we could do this. Spends a lot more money, but it should give us more piety as well. I'm gonna keep recruiting these guys. Oh, he's a little bit expensive. Um, am I still gonna go through there? Let's just add it here, just in case. Hopefully we'll have more events to gain our piety score here. But we're definitely going to want to raise our level of devotion and fame in order to kind of make up for being a female ruler in medieval Europe. Uh, we have this negative male dominated uh, from every from every character in the game pretty much. Definitely one of the most powerful women in Europe at this time in history. Take some prestige. Uh, so getting our level of devotion up will allow us to keep getting money off the Pope. Uh, we're eventually going to use that money against him to usurp his title. <laughs> so we're going to piss him off eventually. No way around that. Uh, unless I can create the Kingdom of Italy, which might be a little bit more difficult because that would involve going to war with some much more powerful dukes. So we'll see how that goes. Defensive negotiations is nice because it makes the Pope like us more uh, to get more money from him. I think I might actually just end up going down Matriarch here. Uh, we can get quite a few skill points uh, as long as we get some friends and some children, which hopefully we're going to do both of. Uh, so we are going to need to get five friends at some point. Uh, I think I'll start by befriending my Chancellor here. I don't need to sway him anymore. Okay, so we'll go to war and push this claim. Don't think he's going to be much issue for us. Five months, eight months, yeah, we should be okay. <laughs> so, this guy wants to reduce his taxes. We could take Teramo from him. It's kind of right in the middle of his land, though. I think I'll just say no to him. Uh, we can't hold anything else anyway. I got a claim on Capua. Okay, that's good. I'm ill. Hopefully, we do not die and get game over here in part one. That would be pretty terrible. Looks like some of our vassals are not too happy with us and are planning on a liberty faction. I'm actually okay if this goes away. I mean, if this goes off, because I'll be able to beat them in a war easily, and then I can just take their land from them and give it to someone who likes me a little bit more. Okay, so that was my chancellor that I recruited, <laughs> and I was trying to befriend. Uh, I guess I should have stopped him from serving in the army. That's an oopsies. It uh, doesn't look like there's anyone that we can actually give the job to. Oh, we got lucky and got a nice guest. 65 gold. Sure, there you go. And this guy's actually our culture as well. So our husband is actually serving in the military. Maybe I'll stop him from doing that as well. We don't want him to die. Uh, so our marshal is saying, Hey, can my son join your army? He's really bad. I'm going to say no. <laughs> no, this is not a nursery. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I think I'll go for Bologna next. And I'll just keep the one that's a little bit closer to my land. Uh, 
There goes our steward. Oh well. I'll give him the job. 14. Hopefully it doesn't go too bad for him. Okay, there we go. Uh, so who do I want to befriend? My bishop's actually pretty young. He's not going to die that soon, so we'll work on him. I want to get five friends because friendly council here will give me ten skill points eventually once I get it. Uh, assuming that I have five friends, so I'm going to start working on that now. I guess I could create this duchy title. Uh, once I can make a kingdom title, I'll eventually give the duchy of Spoleto to one of my vassals, since I can't hold too many. Okay, it gains progress, that's good. Uh, I think we're just going to work on probably being a pretty loyal vassal to the Emperor, at least for the time being. It'll probably benefit us more to be a part of his empire. Uh, you actually start off with a very, very nice contract. You're completely exempt from taxes and levies. Uh, if we can get a hook on him, then maybe we can force our way onto the council, or gain guaranteed war declarations, something like that. Um, so there's our first friend. I'll just work on befriending the rest of my council probably here. Uh, and while I'm at it, let's stop. Let's stop my husband, my steward, my spy master, and my chancellor from serving. So they're not going to get into too much trouble there. Bologna, okay, there we go. Uh, they do have some alliances. They're both just counts, though, and they're going to take a while to get here, so I think we should be okay. So we'll just go and grab that from him. Um, let's kind of recruit some guys here. Oh, this guy's a good steward. We'll put him in there. Uh, we don't need you. Is anyone decent? No, not really. Okay, we'll get him to give up his claim on our land. Okay, so you're getting fired again, sorry to say. Oh, we got two 16s now. Okay, that's fine. We'll put this guy in here. Um, are we going to get this in time? Yeah, let's just do this. The Shrewd. Not sure how we ended up getting that nickname. Uh, but I'll take it. Okay, fully occupied. We can take that land from him. Uh, and now we have the land to usurp his title. The Holy Father. He will be upset with us. Um, but I think this is the best path forward. Uh, and once we can create that title, these three, who are all vassals of the Emperor, will be given to us as our vassals, so we won't have to take that land. Um, so I might end up expanding towards Pisa next. There's no need for them to be independent, I don't think. I would rather have them as a vassal. Uh, we, we can hold six once we get a kingdom title, so I think I'm just going to hold on to this extra one for now. Um, this will cost us 500, I believe, so we just got to save up a little bit here. Uh, maybe if we're lucky, he can give us some gold. We've already asked him a few times. That's where this negative effect is coming from. It'll slowly tick down, and maybe we can get another bunch of gold off him. Uh, and then use that gold to take his title from him. <clears throat> and there is our first pregnancy. Hopefully things go smooth here.
Oh, look at that, that's cool. I, I never noticed that before. You can actually see how much of an effect it's having on you. Uh, so we got our two friends so far. I might try to befriend my spy master. He's not super fond of me. We'll see how it goes. Uh, definitely don't want a spy master that's going to betray us, so hopefully we can befriend him. Uh, and if it fails, then probably just sway him a little bit. Oh, we're increasing his... There we go. Went up to 50 at least from 43. Uh, and we have had a son, and he got quick, which is nice. Our, our husband is a genius, so it could pass on. Naming him Bernardo. That's cool. Um, so now, if we die randomly, we are not going to get game over, at least. I'll probably get a wet nurse eventually, but I'll just hold off on it for now to save a little bit of money while I wait for my 500 gold. will help us befriending people. And we do need to have five children as well. I don't think seducing my husband will go very well. Yeah, cynical and zealous don't get along. Romance, 0%. Uh, so I might end up just befriending him too. That's actually pretty difficult as well. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so he's not really interested in being our friend. I think that I will just end up swaying him. Maybe I should have done this first. Uh, but regardless if he wants to be our friend or not, I want to get my opinion with him up so that he doesn't betray us. Go away. Maybe we can befriend our steward after or, or something like that. This guy's getting on in years a little bit, so I don't think I'll try to befriend him. These guys are quite wishy-washy with their Liberty Faction. They're right on the cusp here of being able to send it, so it keeps going away and coming back. I, I wouldn't mind if it went off, because I could revoke the titles from them. Tyranny free. We'll see how it goes. Um, after I'm done getting my friends... Oh, another pregnancy. I'm gonna go and learn High German before I pay homage to... Heinrich the Fourth here, the Emperor, who's not terribly fond of us. He's also cynical. So we're getting close to our 500 gold here. Um, are you willing to give us gold soon? No. I'm already wealthy. Yeah, we got too much, so it's not going to go off. Uh, I'm not going to be wealthy now. Uh, so now we have made our kingdom title, Queen. So we'll hang our banners proudly. I have a lot of gold right now, a lot of income I should say. So I think I can afford to raise these all up to the max. So we'll just get our court grandeur up as much as possible. Uh, let's hold court too. He wants to be master of the house, master of the horse or hunt. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go hunting at all. I'm just going to say no. Sorry, buddy. Uh, there we go. Whatever. Go into a little bit of debt. Uh, but we can hold all six of our counties now. Uh, we've had a second son, Prince Zelino. No trait, unfortunate. Uh, so here is our liege giving us our vassals. As expected. Uh, so we just need to get ourselves out of debt here a little bit. And then we'll be ready to start expanding a little bit more, hopefully. Uh, like I said, probably going to do Pisa next. I can start fabricating a claim there. Uh, I think eventually I'll give these ones outside of my home duchy away. Oh, this guy's befriending me. That's nice. 
because um, I would like to take these these counties in my home duchy back. Arezzo and, and Luca. Unfortunately, Orbitello here is a part of the Pope's realm, so it's going to be a little bit harder to get that one back. Uh, he's upset at us. We've been taking gold from him, and then we use that gold to usurp his title from him, so he's, he's not going to be too happy. But whenever this Pope dies, the next Pope won't uh, have that modifier, that negative modifier, so this is just temporary. Yeah, I don't really want to spend gold right now. I'm trying to get out of debt here. Uh, let's get rid of this first, actually. Okay. Um, I'm going to continue this in the next part. If you enjoyed watching it, please subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.